Welcome back. We are in Epcot. Here for Food and Wine Part 2. Part 2. We did our first round back in July. On day one. Day. On opening day. We, we are, are, what, mid-festival? Mid-festival. But we've reached the point where all booths are now open. Yes. Um, so, yeah, come along for Part 2. We're going to eat. We're going to drink. And uh, be merry. Have the best time. So, follow along. Here we go. Here we go. Coastal Eats is our first up, and uh, we, oh, well, I, it's not a gluten friendly snack. I'm here uh, for support. I love that. Dude, you're doing a great job. Thank you. The baked scampi dip, and it just describes it as with shrimp, scallops, and baguette. It looks amazing. And it, and it smells, smells amazing. So good. Yeah. There we go. It does, it's got spinach in it. Why don't they tell you that? Oh my god, it's spinach dip with, with seafood with seafood in it, which is kind like, like, like all of your some of my favorite things. things. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is this is yeah. a damn cool delight for me. Is it? Five out of five. And I, the scallops are my like favorite seafood thing, like right next to Travelage. And that was buttery, soft, and scallops are very easy to mess up, and that was excellent. So damn cool delight for me on the scampi dip. I can't eat it. Wait, what is that Kim Kardashian uh, sound bite? I can't eat it, but imagine it being how great it is to smell it or something. That's what's happening right now. <laughs> All righty, we'll be back with some fries. And we're back with fries. We're back. We went to the fry basket, which is right outside of Test Track. We got the adobo yucca fries with garlic cilantro aioli. This is a gluten-friendly item as noted on the menu. And then the fry flight. Here it comes, here it comes. From my right, the salt and sea salt and malt vinegar fries, the barbecue bacon fries, and then the sweet potato casserole fries. Yes, with marshmallow, it looks like marshmallow poop. Marshmallow I'm poop. I'm really excited about it. $13 for both. This was $5.50, that was $7.50, which is I think pretty reasonable for both of these. So um, let's yeah, let's, let's dig in. Let's dig in. Uh, the only one Frankie cannot have is the uh, malt, malt vinegar. Malt is not gluten free, but the other two are. So yeah. so for those uh, celiac friends, now you know. Oh my god, it tastes like potatoes. It tastes like garlic bread. That aioli is. It's not very cilantro y and I'm very. That's very good. Cilantro sensitive. How many Frankie points? I don't want to give these out so early, but. I know. <laughs> Maybe we'll I say that's four. a damsel delight for me. I think I'm going to do a four. A four? What would get it to a five? I don't know. I can only give out so many fives, so that's I got to so save it for later. OK. All right, on to, I will do the malt vinegar. I don't, not a big malt vinegar okay. person, but we'll see. These literally smell like. I mean, it tastes like a french fry, They're salty. I don't really taste That's the vinegar. Good. No. So it t this is your pretty standard normal french fry. This is the barbecue and it literally smells like if you shoved your head in a bag of barbecue lays. Oh, okay. And what's the stuff that's on there, the white stuff? A smoked aioli. Oh, okay. It literally tastes like a barbecue chip. Those are nice. Wow. I like those. Wow. That's a pleasant surprise. More Does smoky it taste than like sweet? Barbecue potato chips. And they're very well seasoned. They don't really skimp out on your seasoning yeah, here. Yeah, like the orange is all the seasoning on there. So like think, Dorito fingers. Is it bacon on there too? It is bacon. They don't tell you though. They're really not good with their descriptions, but you know, what do we know? Uh, Those are I good. love that. Yeah. That's, a, that's equal, uh, we're just going another four. Okay. How many Frankie points? Oh, for that one? Yeah. I would say four. I feel like it does need, in the, I, I'm a sauce gal, I like, Thing saucy. Yeah, we need more sauce. Food is just a vessel for sauce for me, and I would like more of that aioli. Um, I'm excited for the sweet potato. Here we go. Oh, the marshmallow poop's good. Wow. Not as sweet as I thought it was going to be. No, it's not that sweet at all. Very, the sweet potatoes are nice and crispy. I feel like sweet potato fries are very hard to ha make and keep crispy, so the fact that they're cranking these out in bulk and they're that crispy, those are nice. And there's a little bit of sweet. 
There's uh, candy there pecans are candies on there too. Pecans. Frankie doesn't like nuts, so I'll get one of those. I don't like those. Oh, that is a perfect candy pecan. Wow. Like they should be a little bit soft, a little bit crispy at the same time. Mm -hmm. They nailed that. That's really good. This is a winner. This is great for sharing. Across the board. A little bit of something for everyone. Yeah. Fours across the board for me. I agree. Those are a five for me. Everything else is a four. Very good. Love Very it. Good. We're doing good today. Doing great. We're, we're going somewhere next. On to the next. We are here at another, another stop. Another spot. We're at the Brew Wing at the Odyssey. Inside, it is raining now, so we came it's for- our little oasis for the moment. Yes, our little oasis. We got some things and some stuff. I got the garlic Parmesan wings. Look at that, look at that celery. They, that's like two, I think there's four or five in there. Um, and then I got for a beverage, the- Oh, it's so pretty. Yeah, it's Wicha Guava, <laughs> another hard cider out of Middlebury, Vermont. Okay. And you got, I don't know what I you got. Chose. Ivanhoe Park Brewing Company Pineapple Vibes. Ooh. Blonde Ale, and if you know me, I love a good pineapple yeah. vibe, so. Try this first. It's this really, I mean, it just kind of looks like a regular yeah. blonde. Uh, I got cheers. A, I got a five ounce, you got a big one. I got a big one. Yep. Wow. I love this. Mine is literally just like a big, super light, bubbly, Guava cider. It's not too thick. It doesn't taste too like artificial. It looks sparkly, you like a sparkling. It? Yeah, like almost looks like rose, kind of like a sparkling rose. How many times can we say sparkling? Oh, that's good. That's just refreshing. Like, yeah, that's, I want. I want like this hot on a hot summer day to kind of yeah. feel. Um, you can definitely taste the pineapple. I don't know that I would call it a blonde. It's kind of got a hoppy finish, which blondes typically don't have. That um, round two. But you can taste the pineapple. Um, I would probably give it a give it a three. Okay, I would give this a. I'm being too generous. Four and a half out of five. Four and a half. I love that. I wish I would have gotten a bigger one, but we'll be here all night. Yeah, we got Come more back. to drink, more to eat. Right, now go I get for to, your wings. Now I get to eat wings on camera. Aren't you so excited? I'm excited. Um, but they are very generous with their Look sauce their parmesan. and their parmesan. So, wings a little dry. Oh, is it? Yeah. It's also a drum, so that could be why also. I like the other kinds. Um, what do you call these? Flats. Oh, a flat. I've never heard called mm -hmm. flat. I prefer the flats. Yeah, it's because that's dark meat, but very saucy. The sauce is really nice, not too salty. Tastes like garlic Parmesan. If you like the one at Buffalo Wild Wings, you would probably like this. This is way better than the one at Buffalo Wild Wings. Oh, you think? Yeah, it's definitely saucier, uh, creamier. Yeah. For a wing, this is I pretty agree. good. They have like four or five other flavors too, so. Yeah. How many flavors? Very good. Oh, uh, I give it like three out of five. I, I would mean, say the same. Maybe a different sauce next time, but still very good. Love and uh, we're gonna hang out here. And Until the, the next one. And on to more. Yep. We stopped at the India booth. We have a chicken tikka masala and a crispy paneer with mango curry ketchup. Also part of Emile's fromage montage. Correct. And the chicken tikka masala, we got it the gluten uh, sensitive version. Pretty much she's no non bread. Yes, so it's with fennel spice yogurt and non bread, so hers is minus the non. That's good. I don't like the consistency already. No. Ooh, wow, that's spicy. Oh, it got better. I like spicy, um, but this is pretty hot for Disney standards, I feel. It's like spicy, spicy? Yeah, wow. You wanna try it? Uh, none of it's spicy, spicy. Okay, so it's it looks like um, feta. I forget what they call it. It's like, it's not a melty cheese. It's not a melty cheese. I think what I don't like is the salsa. Do it on its own. Oh yeah. Yeah, crispy paneer. Yeah, it's I don't really like breading on the outside with this feta consistency type cheese. It's not tangy like feta. It's kind of, honestly, it's kind of bland. Is it like salty? Nope, no nope. salty. It's like feta without the flavor. Mine is very spicy. 
probably like compared to uh, it's, it's like edible still it's not like there's still good flavor like tikka masala flavor curry ish indian flavors i don't really know how to describe it but the fennel yogurt has like a nice like cooling to it so it kind of cuts the heat counteract rice is nicely cooked for being cooked in bulk um and i got a little stick right so i would probably give this a like a two. Oh, there's just not anything really special happening here. I'd give this a three. It's actually a pretty decent serving size too yeah. for um, festival. We're about to move on. On to the next. Greetings from Brazil. We are here with our Brazilian cheese bread. I'm not going to attempt how to pronounce this. Yeah. Because I do not want to offend anyone. Right. Um, this was four seventy five. This is a, a festival staple. Yeah. This is here sure. every year. All the time. I need we needed something savory. We had a lot of sweets back to back to back. Yeah, we so sure did. This is gluten free on its own. It's tapioca flour. So it's not real flour. So it is naturally gluten free. And it is stuffed with cheese. So cheese bread. You can't go wrong. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna try one. Cheers. I feel like they're a lot bigger this year. It's also fluffier than I remember. Mm -hmm. But it's full of cheese. They're like, it's like it's puffy. Yeah. If that makes sense. But it's a good, like, savory cheese. Mm -hmm. I don't know the actual cheese yeah. in it, but um, this is great. I give this like three and a half out of five. Three and a half, for sure. I agree. Three and a half. Mm -hmm. If you like cheese and you like bread, give it a try. Like give it and a try. It's a cheaper snack. And you get the festival them, too. So. And you get two. Yeah. Perfect for sharing. On to the next one. On to the next. We just got um, a couple things from the France Festival booth. Yep. We, and I think this is going to round us out for food and wine part two. I think so. It's getting almost to harmonious time. Yeah. And uh, we're full. <laughs> yeah, that's true. We didn't do very well today, but um, we're, we're ending it out we're on a lot. bang. Um, I've got the creme brulee. And this um, is a gluten-friendly item. It is. It also has like a raspberry jam at the it bottom. It says creme brulee vanilla a la confiture de framboises. Creme brulee. Vanilla creme brulee with house-made raspberry jam. Ooh. And then I went for the beignet uh, trois fromage, which is the three cheese blend. Warm beignet filled with three cheeses. Look at it. Look at it glisten. That thing is, that is It looks rich, dense rich. and excited. I'm so excited for this. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that, right? Look at the cheese. Holy beignets. I'm trying to get to the raspberry. Here we go. Oh, it's down there. It's like all the way at the bottom. So really creamy cheese on the inside. It's um, definitely got a pepper flavor to it. Right. The, the beignet on the outside is absolutely perfect. It's warm. It's got a little crisp to it. The cheese on top is just a little bit like that crispy. cheesy, crispy. Great cheese crust. I would give this a four out of five. Okay. What is your creme brulee? I would give this, I think this is a damsel delight oh, for me. It's a damsel delight. I didn't know I needed raspberry with my creme brulee until this moment. I love when you get a little surprise and a little mm -hmm. something different. It's like good balance of the creamy from the creme brulee. That really good, just good vanilla flavor. Yeah with the raspberry tartness. It's like a really good balance. Here, you try. Okay. Yeah, that's really good. Also, damsel delight. That's excellent creme brulee. And she's right, the raspberry brings something new that I didn't know I needed. Yep. Favorite thing I ate today. Yep. Those fries were good. Those yucca fries. Yeah. Those were, uh, those were a, a, a surprise damsel delight. I enjoy it. My uh, absolute favorite was the the spinach dip. Oh, the with scampi the, dip. The scampi dip. That yep. was my absolute favorite thing I ate today. Please go try it. So thanks so much for coming along to Food and Wine Part 2. Part 2. We had a blast. We hope you had a blast too. And uh, we are full. Now we're going to enjoy Harmonious and not get eaten alive by, by the bugs. As always, like and subscribe for more.